Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to design this beautiful 3D infographic using PowerPoint. So let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and move the vertical guide towards left at 2 units position. Next go to insert tab and draw an ellipse shape centrally to both the guides. Make it no outline and create its duplicate using Ctrl plus D. Change its fill color and reduce its size holding down Ctrl and Shift keys. Align it to our original shape and centrally to both the guides. Next go to insert tab and draw a rectangle shape along the horizontal axis of ellipse shape as shown. Make it no outline and change its fill color. Reduce its height and then duplicate original ellipse shape using Ctrl plus D. Align this duplicate shape over rectangle and then union both the shapes. Finally, Send this shape to back and that's our 3D cylinder shape design. Next format original ellipse shape with 2 step linear gradient and change its direction. Change both the stop colors with light grey and white color. Next format bottom shape with same 2 step linear gradient and change both the stop colors with even darker shades of grey color. Next we will create shadow effect over this cylinder using ellipse shape and this will give realistic look when we place other shapes one over the other. Make it no outline and format it with previously used 2 step linear gradient. Change the direction and set right side stop color to darker shade of grey color. And change left side stop color to 100% transparency. Next go to soft edges feature and increase its value until we get desired shadow effect. Place it over cylinder shape and adjust the size if required. That looks perfect. Next select all the shapes and group them together. Reduce the size by dragging it holding down Ctrl and Shift keys. Then duplicate this group using Ctrl plus D. Now go to 3D rotation option. Change Z rotation value to 340 degrees. Basically it's same as minus 20 degree of rotation. Align this shape to the original group as shown and then send it to back. Again duplicate this group using Ctrl plus D and rotate this shape along Z axis by minus 320 degree. Again it will be same as minus 40 degree of rotation. Align it over other shapes as shown and then send it to back. Let's continue to duplicate this group two more times using Ctrl plus D. Rotate them by 20 and 40 degrees along Z axis. Align as per the design requirement and then send them to back. Now for topmost group of shapes, make sure to delete the shadow shape as we don't have any other shapes above it. And for bottommost group, we will create same shadow effect using ellipse shape. Align this shadow shape at the bottom of all the groups and then send it to back. Now 
that looks perfect next change the fill colors of all center ellipse shape using eye dropper tool and color palettes since we have shadow shape over each group it's better to make use of selection pane select the right ellipse shape and then change its fill color Next go to insert tab and draw ladder lines along each design groups. Change its weight to 1.5 points and match its outline color. Finally, add all text fields onto our design. Let's speed up to save time. So here is the final preview, hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.